Pierre-Alexander Claudius Balmain was a French fashion designer who founded Balmain. His namesake company, Balmain, is still operating today and is one of the largest luxury brands in the world. Ruth Maurice had been hiding the fact that the business was failing and they were almost penniless. He also learned additional skills like dancing and writing that would later help to make him popular in Parisian high society. Bowman received the job offer the following year in 1934 after a fortuitous visit to Edward Molyneux's design studio. This was the kind of prestige advertising that money couldn't buy, and a similarly glowing review in Vogue from Bellman's friend. By this point, he had dressed many of that era's most notable figures, including Hollywood A-listers such as Marlene Dietrich, Katherine Hepburn, Sophia Loren, and Ingrid Bergman. In recognition of his many contributions to his country and its reputation, he was made an officer of the Legion of Honor, France's highest order of merit in 1978. Bowman died at the American Hospital of Paris at the age of 68, following a battle with liver cancer. His thirst to learn more made him the best fashion designer ever that France produced. Pierre-Alexander Claudius Bauman was a French fashion designer who founded Bauman, the leading post-war fashion house. He was born on 18th May 1914 as Saint-Jean-de-Maurienne, Savoie, France, and he lived until 29 June 1982. Bauman once described dressmaking as the architecture of movement, and his skills would make his name a byword for elegance and sophistication. His namesake company, Bauman, is still operating today and is one of the largest luxury brands in the world. In this video, we will discuss how he created such a huge brand. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Along with her sisters, Bellman's mother Françoise managed a Paris clothes shop called Galeries Parisienne. His father Maurice sadly died in 1921 when he was only 7 years old. Maurice owned the dress shop and also ran a wholesale drapery business, so mother and son had believed that the family was well off. In truth, Maurice had been hiding the fact that the business was failing and they were almost penniless. But his son, the future designer, was still the recipient of a box of theater costumes and some valuable formative years that he had spent absorbing many different fashion modes, an inadvertent education that would later serve him well. At the age of 11, Balmain won a scholarship to attend a boarding school in Chambry. As well as the normal curriculum, he also learned additional skills like dancing and writing that would later help to make him popular in Parisian high society. In 1933, he began studying architecture at the École des Beaux-Arts, and to earn money while he studied there, he engaged in freelance work drawing for a designer called Robert Piguet. Bowman received the job offer the following year in 1934 after a fortuitous visit to Edward Molyneux's design studio. He dropped out of school and worked there for the next five years, albeit with two of them interrupted by compulsory military service. During the Second World War, he joined Lucien Lelong's company, which is where he first met a young Christian Dior. They initially grew close, but the relationship turned sour when Balmain asked him to become a partner in his own company. Dior decided it wouldn't work, and they parted ways acrimoniously, eventually becoming rivals in the fashion world. Balmain's debut show took place in 1945 at his boutique on Rue Francois, and it was an instant success, with lavish luxury designs that were worlds apart from the modest clothing that most women were wearing at the time. His fashion house's debut collection was featured in the November issue of Vogue magazine, and the reviewer said that Balmain had created beautiful clothes that you really want to wear. This was the kind of prestige advertising that money couldn't buy and a similarly glowing review in Vogue from Bellman's friend, the experimental writer Gertrude Stein, who had by now been wearing his clothes for several years, was the cherry on the cake. It was the seal of approval for the House of Bellman, or at least it was one of them. For instance, the Duchess of Windsor ordered from this collection, the first of many celebrity fans that would help his star to rise higher. Right from the word go, Bellman appreciated the value of actively promoting himself around the world. In 1947, he toured Australia and designed a line to be produced there. Then in 1951, he extended his international reach by opening an operation in the United States. By 1955, his off-the-peg clothes had garnered him a highly respected Neiman Marcus Fashion Award. 
By this point, he had dressed many of that era's most notable figures, including Hollywood A-listers such as Marlene Dietrich, Katherine Hepburn, Sophia Loren, and Ingrid Bergman. Thanks to his reputation, he was asked to design for Queen Sigurd of Thailand when she toured the United States in 1960. He made outfits for the 1968 Granabla Winter Olympics and also for the cabin crews of both Malaysia and Singapore Airlines and TWA. When the first female pilot flew for Air France in 1975, she wore a uniform designed by Bellman. Bellman's designs were always courting attention. After he created outfits for Hope Porta Carrero, the First Lady of Nicaragua, she subsequently appeared on the International Best Dressed List Hall of Fame for 1968. Bauman later began collaborating with one of Danish designer Holger Bloom's students, a man called Eric Mortensen. Mortensen started working as a design assistant at Bauman in 1948. The two of them discovered that they worked well together and became a good fit as collaborators, an arrangement that continued for the rest of Bauman's life. He was adept at spotting the talent of others. Margit Brandt worked as a young designer for him during the early 1960s and he was also taken by the work of Karl Lagerfeld, giving him a job in 1954 after discovering him while judging in a fashion competition that the young German designer won. Mulman's vintage couture gowns have enduring appeal and are still as popular today, having been worn by stars such as Angelina Jolie, Penelope Cruz, Alexandra Carey, Tatiana Sirocco, Kate Moss, Kristen Davis, and Zendaya. Bowman received the nomination for a Best Costume Design Tony Award and was the winner of the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Costume Design for Happy New Year in 1980. Other costume designs for Broadway shows include Sophia Loren in The Millionaires 1960 and Josephine Baker for her self-titled review in 1964. Bowman also designed costumes for 16 films including And God Created Women and La Parisienne, starring Brigitte Bardot. And he also created on-screen clothes worn by the actresses Mae West and Vivian Lee. Pierre Bowman's first perfume release was Elysee 6483, created in 1946 by perfumer Germain Cellier, who also created Vent Vert for the designer in 1947. This became one of the highest selling perfumes towards the end of the 1940s and into the 1950s. Other notable names include Jolie Madame 1953, Monsieur Balmain 1964, and Miss Balmain 1967. Pierre Balmain is numbered among the small group of young French talents who are credited with shepherding in the mid-century's golden age of couture and who helped to restore Paris's reputation as the world fashion capital. In recognition of his many contributions to his country and its reputation, he was made an officer of the Legion of Honor, France's highest order of merit in 1978. Bowman died at the American Hospital of Paris at the age of 68, following a battle with liver cancer. He had just finished sketching the designs for the clothes that would become his final autumn collection. From the very beginning, Pierre Bauman was a keen learner. With routine studies, he also acquired additional skills like dancing and writing. His thirst to learn more made him the best fashion designer ever that France produced. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.